Hey guys, how often do you brush your dog's teeth? In this episode, I want to teach you how you can train your dog so they absolutely love it when you clean their teeth. Oh yeah! Uh, brush my teeth! In fact, I want to teach you how you can get your dog to love you brushing their teeth so much. Next time you turn on the electric toothbrush, they will chase after you to get their teeth done. <laughs> No. Come back again. Come back again. <laughs> First of all, you can yeah. use a toothpaste. Yeah. I don't, but yeah. you can. But if you decide to use a toothpaste, make sure you use a dog okay. toothpaste. Yeah. We rinse our mouth, but dogs do not. They will swallow the toothpaste. And human toothpaste is bad for your dogs. There's more than one way you can brush your dog's teeth and there's more than one product you can use. You can buy some dog toothbrush in the market but I found the human electric toothbrush is the best. Because their surface is quite small but it rotates very fast so you can get to some really tough corners and actually get the uh, dirt out quite easily. Better than the traditional toothbrush you brush with your hands. It's, it is basically the same ones we use. Or not the one I use, but the same type of toothbrush that I use. You know what I mean? How often should you be cleaning your dog's teeth? Ideally once a day, but not everybody has the time and energy. If you don't, just do it as often as possible. Brushing your dog's teeth is not difficult. The difficult part is how you get your dog to stay still when you brush their teeth. But don't worry, that's what we're here for. Good boy, Benji! What a good boy! Here's how you do it. In order to make sure your dog don't resist you when you try to touch their teeth or pull their lips up, make sure all, everything you do is a positive experience. So when the dog's playing with, playing with you, make sure uh, they feel good about what you're doing. At first, you can uh, start by brushing their lip back, back and forth, just like how you um, touch their head. And once they're comfortable with that, you just move your finger in and start touching their teeth. I found the easiest time to do this is, is when your dog is actually sleepy. When they're sleepy, they don't mind you do anything at all. I wouldn't do this exercise when your dog is hyper, when they're about to uh, go off or run or they just want to jump around. Do this when they're calm. It's probably the best time to do it. Once they like you touching their teeth, open their mouth and touch all the teeth, including the ones at the back. Uh, you can start to introduce your toothbrush to them. Make sure you start by letting them play with the toothbrush, smell the toothbrush. Don't let them chew them up. And slowly put the toothbrush into their mouth. And when you do that, you can reward them with a bit of treats. My dog like to lick the toothbrush and I, and I let them do that a lot to make sure they like it. It's when you're training your dog to uh, to use the toothbrush, don't make it too long. Keep the session short so you can do a little bit here, a little bit there. You don't have to brush all the teeth at once because it can be really stressful. But once they get used to it, you can take longer. You can brush all the teeth. In the beginning, it's just a game to them. It's not really, uh, you know, trying to get them, trying to force them into this. Eventually, they will get used to it. They will like it and they will just let you do it in a relaxed manner. If you found it difficult, you can also dip your brush into say some sort of uh, meat, uh, meat juice, meat sauce, some sort of uh, things they like to eat. Uh, of course you want to keep your toothbrush clean, but this is just getting them use, get them to like the toothbrush in, into their mouth. Then you can turn it on. Once you turn it on, gradually move on to different teeth. Just make sure they get used to it first. For your information, there's some interesting fact. 90% of the tartar is issued on the outside, outside of their teeth, not inside. And when you use a toothbrush, you'll find it is a lot easier to clean outside, like outside. Inside is a lot harder, but it's good to know that most of the tartar is on the outside. So when we do our job, we're actually doing most of the work for them, brushing the outside of the teeth. I'm not saying raw dye is the only way to feed your dog, but raw does keep your dog's teeth cleaner. And if you include bone in the meal, actually the bone help your dog to clean their teeth while they are eating and chewing it. Dog eating raw food will have cleaner teeth compared to dogs eating kibbles or biscuits. Processed food will give your dog's teeth more plaque and ta 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 ta, -ta. And also make sure they drink a lot of water. Ember, drink your water!
Drink your water for Detroit. Drink your water. Okay, that's it. There's not much to it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's probably a good time to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I post my next video, you get notified. If you missed last week's video, I posted a, a tutorial on how you can teach your dog to clean their teeth using a rope toy while building up their muscle, like using a tuck toy or like using a spring pole. If you haven't seen it, I put the link down below so you can check it out. It's pretty interesting. And if you get to do that, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That's it from Pavlok. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> they are waiting, they are waiting. Yeah, get his toothbrush. It's his turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Let's go, Vinci. Yeah, brush your teeth. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this. Happy doggy. Mo 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 mo